this one's called the walker right there, the walker I've always been a walker a laugher, a speed talker and a punk rocker but at least in my head I would rather walk that extra mile and do it alone and with a smile and to a newly acquainted friend it could come as a shock that I'd rather walk home from Logan Kale, a good 35 minutes walk. But I've always been a walker, from the time my aunt would take me by my tiny hands and let me climb up the steps of Swayambu, and overhead the eagles flew, and the monkeys chattered away at the sari clad women who had come to pray, and the prayer flags fluttered, fluttered as if to tell me it would be okay, that I'd only have to put one step in front of the other and I'd be rid of everything that would be there to bother. Perhaps that's why I walk when, I'm, when my mood's crappy and I walk when I'm happy and maybe that's why I walked home, the six kilometers from my very best friend's place, unwitting tears streaming down my face, the evening she was to leave to study abroad. And maybe that's why I walk home, to places far away from home and yet home. Because where I come from, the site of the Himalayas is home. These legs have taken me places that only legs can take you, to places where a porter carrying a third of his weight is nicknamed the flying horse, as he soars through the hills like he would chasher through the busy streets of Kathmandu, to places my grandmother, 60 and 61, walk, with courage and patience despite their age, with courage and patience because of their age. Pausing, resting, sipping from the water bottles and walking, Walking to places where the sky is so blue and big and all else you see is the white and the browns of the mountains with the occasional color of the prayer flags that carry your prayers through the disease, where the stacks of stone pile up with every passing traveler and the flowers left by them wilt away and are replaced by more prayers for the disease. Prayers you can feel in the atmosphere, heavy and light at the same time, to places where you feel tiny, insignificant and lost. But there is also an exhilaration that fills up your insides and there is a serenity that equals no other. And it is in passing moments like these that I realize why I'm a walker. I'm a walker. And we are a walker. Thank you so much. <laughs>